From weapons always breaking to non-stop travelling, here are 20 things players hate about LEGO Fortnite. Number 1. Items not stacking inside of chests. As you can see, I have one iron bar in my inventory and one iron bar in the chest, and if I go to deposit the iron bar from my inventory into the chest, it creates an entire brand new slot. Why does it not just simply stack onto it? Number 2. Weapon durability. Please can we just repair weapons. Now, recently they have just come out and buffed weapon durability by around 60%, but it is still really bad. Why this annoys a lot of players is because a lot of the ores in the game take too long to mine, and a lot of the enemies take too long to kill, obviously excluding brutes. Meaning your weapon is going to break a lot more quickly, and what I have a massive problem with is the swords, because the pickaxes are pretty easy to make, but the swords cost 12 iron bars or 12 copper bars, and once you've killed 5 enemies, it's gone. Number 3, building issues. Here you can see a small gap in the floor, which should be easy to fill in, but because LEGO Fortnite currently doesn't have any 1x1 one one tile pieces, you have to do it the hard way by rearranging everything. Just to try and fill in this one little small spot, and after a little while, this does begin to get on your nerves. Number 4, I have such a massive born to pick with this one, and that is how bones are absolutely pointless in LEGO Fortnite. <laughs> Once you get past the very early game, bones have no use to you at all, and they just become annoying clogging up your inventory because you pick so many of them up fighting skeletons in caves. Maybe in the future they could use them for something. Hint, hint repair tools. Number 5. Not being able to go to sleep. Now, if you did not know, there is a little bit of a tactic where if you quit to lobby and load back in, it will always put your game at data. Sleeping inside of LEGO Fortnite might be a little bit overpowered, but if they made it where you can only sleep inside your village, this would be perfect because when you are trying to build and upgrade your village, it can get really difficult at times when it is dark because you cannot really see anything. Number 6. Having to upgrade a crafting bench every time you place one down. This gets really annoying when you get into the late game and you have to build villages in the desert and snow biome to unlock new builds like the castle because it can be rather costly to upgrade the crafting bench over and over again. Now, just before we move on to number 7, and I feel that is the one that a lot of people really hate about the game, I just want to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor. This free game is played by over 80 million players. The game is a free-to-play battle MMO game with a strong focus on hero collection with console graphics on form. You can play on the go and at home on PC with over 800 champions. New content is constantly being added every single month and my personal favourite thing about the game is the boss fights which offer insane rewards. And the game has just released one of its biggest features ever, the Cursed City. With 100 stages, the best part about it is that the Cursed City even resets every month with new battle conditions for stages and more rewards for for you to claim. And when the weather outside is frightful, you need something delightful, right? Well, Raid Shadow Legends has you covered because they are celebrating the festive season with an exclusive Christmas story event, where you can follow Santa, play lots of fun minigames, and earn exclusive limited time stuff. If you haven't started playing and you are interested, you can click the link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses only available via my link, where you will get two epic champions, who are Light Swan and Juliana. Anyway, let's get back to it. Number 7. Travelling from biome to biome. I know this one upsets a lot of people. Running for miles to get to one biome to the next can get a little tedious, and that is why I really recommend setting up your village on the border of a desert, as this is the most overpowered biome in the game, and fair enough, it is still early days, so we can give them a little bit of slack, but we all can admit, it isn't very full. Number 8. Ores being placed too high up. 
Nobody enjoys building up super high just to get some ore to see it fall all the way back down again and it's even worse when it lands in some lava. Number 9. Lagging Have you noticed that in LEGO Fortnite every now and again your character will simply freeze and then unfreeze after around 5 seconds? This is because the game is trying to spawn in the everyone is awesome set but depending on the scenario that you are in it can be really deadly such as if you're fighting a brute and I know a lot of players have died to it and obviously it's just really annoying. Number 10 Dynamite Skeletons. These guys never leave you alone and what I really hate about them is how they have so much HP and they just take up your weapons durability and what do you get off killing them? Well you get bones. It is a little bit of a joke sometimes just how many skeletons spawn in and there's no point in killing them all because if you ever exit the cave and come back, they just simply respawn. Number 11, no steering wheel. If you have got to the stage where you are trying to build a land vehicle or an air vehicle, you will have noticed that there isn't a steering wheel, meaning it is really difficult to try and turn your vehicle. You either have to build a complicated contraction or simply weigh it down on one side. However, do not worry for long because LEGO Fortnite has heard our feedback about this being really annoying and they are adding a steering wheel. They did tease it in this little promotional art. Number 12, the grind to get all of the builds. This one is like a combination of everything people hate about LEGO Fortnite. Travelling, upgrading crafting benches again and again, equipment breaking because it is a long process to try and get a village to level 10 in both the snow biome and the desert biome because you need to do this to unlock all of the special builds such as the cat. I have really enjoyed doing this one, but I know a lot of people do not have as much time and it can be a long process. Number 13, Scorpions. You know this one is really bad when LEGO Fortnite had to nerf the Scorpions because they had too much HP and the Snow Scorpions outright killed you when they exploded. The reward you get for killing them is one little piece of meat which you can easily get anywhere else. They are not like spiders where they actually drop a useful resource. Number 14, getting stuck inside caves. Running around endlessly in a dark cave, especially if your torch depletes, is just a nightmare. And if you did not know, if you follow the green sparkle, it will actually lead you to an exit. However, depending on the cave size, it isn't always that easy. Number 15, cannot use workstations due to rain. Obviously, there is a way to come about this by just placing the workstation underneath some shelter, but but what really doesn't make sense to me is how if you are in the desert, it still says that it is raining even though it isn't because it may be raining in another biome but it's not raining in the desert so it's a bit of a bug. Please can you let me use my workstation? in the rain. Number 16, enemies weapons filling up your inventory. This one is a little bit of a frustrating one because you get bones off killing skeletons which are completely pointless and you get their nearly broken weapons. I don't want these useless pieces of you know. Oh yeah, hello, hello, hello there guys. I am Rugged Eagle and I do tons of LEGO game videos on the channel so why not subscribe if you do like my content and thank you everyone who uses code RUG in the item shop. Your support is incredible. Anyway, let's get back to it. Number 17, having to transport loot. If you have got to the stage where you are setting up different villages in different biomes to get all of the rewards, you will have noticed that transporting loot isn't that easy in LEGO or Fortnite. Because you only have an inventory size of 24 slots so it's kind of like starting again and transporting loot can be very difficult. You either have to make multiple journeys or set up an entire vehicle just to transport it all. Hopefully in the future we might see backpacks. Number 18, not being able to build on certain terrain and grass clipping through floor. When you are trying to make your village look as nice as possible, this one really gets on your nerves because they there is nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you have literal trees growing inside of your buildings, grass popping through the floor, not being able to place a floor down because the terrain's in the way. 
All I want is a nice looking village. Number 19, gliders using stamina. Granted, this one is a lot better than your glider having durability, but sometimes, you know, when you jump off a giant cliff and you just want to make the entire journey in one because it will be so satisfying and your stamina just isn't doing it and you have to drop down. It's really upsetting. Number 20, villagers blocking doors. I do not understand why they cannot open doors. They just sit there and end up blocking you when you are trying to get out. Move! The only way to actually get them to move is to simply just emote. I do not get why they get so excited when you start dancing. They just sprint over. If you're ever stuck trying to find a villager, just start dancing. And there we go. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And thank you so much if you do end up using code ROG in the item shop. Also, why not check out my 15 best advanced tips and tricks about LEGO Fortnite if you are interested. Also, remember to check out Raid Shadow Legends. All the links are in the description. Have a good week, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Adios!